folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to take another quick look at the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game. Now once again, Vinny Jr. and I are going to be duking it out on the battlefield, as it were. I'll be sporting the Rebel Alliance, and he'll have the Imperial Fleet. So let's take a quick look at what ships we picked and what upgrade cards we've chosen to go with them. As far as my current setup is concerned, I have two B-Wings, one of which is piloted by this Ibits... Ibt... 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 Ib to Sam, I, I'm not even going to try. Push the limit, shield upgrade, Ted Numb, uh, also, <laughs> well, I'm going to butcher these names, uh, auto blaster and shield upgrade. As far as his current setup, he's got uh, a TIE Advanced and a TIE Bomber. His TIE Advanced is piloted by Merrick Steele. Um, again, I don't know if that's uh, correct as far as the pronunciation. Marksmanship, Cluster Missiles, Major Rhymer, a TIE Bomber, it's one of his favorites. Marksmanship, Proximity Mines, Proton Torpedoes, and another Proton Torpedoes. All of this adds up to 74 points, and for the record, mine added up to 75. Okay, uh, just your standard disclaimers before we get started. Uh, number one, I do not have a dedicated video camera, so the lighting and the color may be a bit off. Uh, number two, <laughs> there is construction going on above me, so um, I apologize if any of that noise leaks through. Third, we play to have fun. We're not stricklers for rules. Uh, I mean, we do, you know, try to be as accurate as possible, but um, we're not going to get everything right all the time. This is not a tournament that we're playing for money or anything like that. Uh, or bragging rights. This is just a father and son having fun. So keep that in the back of your mind. Um, if you uh, see something that you know, we screwed up and you want to nerd rage and comment. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the planning phase and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, uh, movement phase. We did the uh, planning off camera. Uh, starting, let's see, you've got two number sevens. I've got a six and an eight. So we'll start with the number six. It goes lowest to highest. That is this Ib Ib to Sam. I'm just going to call him Mr. I from now on. It's one straight ahead. I mean, it's either that or Butcher's name for the entire video. I mean, I could be funny, I guess, but... Alright, one straight ahead, and... I guess I'll take a focus, not that it really matters at this point. Um, the uh, sevens, go ahead, and go ahead and move. What do you got going? Is it two straight? For your tie advanced. Okay. And your tie bomber is also two straight ahead. Awesome. And um, let's see, mine is one straight ahead for the uh, Ted Numb, or however that's pronounced. Numb. Num 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 I guess the B is silent. Numb, maybe? Numb. Okay, and I guess we could have taken actions, but we're not in range to really attack, so I usually just skip the, the uh, assign actions part uh, for the very first turn. Unless uh, the uh, uh, tokens happen to carry over. There are a few ships that actually do that. The uh, Hawk 290, I think it is, uh, one of those pilots can actually carry focus tokens from one round to the next. So with that said, uh, we're going to go ahead and skip combat and move back on to the planning phase again. All right, movement starting with the uh, number six over here, Ib, Ib to Sam, Ib to S Ib, Ib, Mr. Ib. I'm just going to call him Mr. Ib, not Mr. I. I like Mr. Ib better. All right, one straight ahead. And I guess I will take an action this time just in case you happen to get into range. I'll take a focus. Um, and you get to move your two now. Him is a three straight. Three straight. You're booking it. There you go. Is this it? Yeah. And, uh, and your action? I don't think you're in range for a target. I mean, just... No, you're not. Base to base, you're not. Um, so, you, I mean, you could take an action if you want to. I don't think you're going to be in range. It's up to you. I can do a barrel roll action. Alright, if you want to do barrel roll. Sure. Here's your one template. You can go left or right with that. You're going to barrel roll. Okay. There you go. And next up, we've got your TIE Bomber. Three straight. Three straight. Okay, so where's your three? Here you go. And I'll do the same thing. Same thing. You're going to barrel roll? Let's do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll! <laughs> I love that thing. Fox, you got one on your tail. <laughs> do a barrel roll, please. 
this. If you don't know Star Fox, uh, play your Super NES, kids. All right. Um, finally, I've got mine going one straight ahead. And I will take a focus. All right. I don't think we're in range. I mean, I was going to do a target lock, but I, oh, I guess I could have done that, huh? We are actually in range. How is that possible? You are not, but somehow, I guess it was just the way that they were positioned back here, but these guys are closer to each other. That so I think true. I'll do a target lock instead. I guess I should have measured before committing to anything. Um, yeah. Now with Ted Num... Okay, that's not the one I want, but that's okay. Alright, target lock, that's good enough. And, um, alright, so that concludes that. Oh, wait, is that the J? Did I, do, did I grab two of the wrong ones? Yeah. All right, here's red J, blue J. There we go. Okay, so now we'll move on to the combat phase. Okay, uh, combat phase. Um, I'm, I have the eight, so I'll shoot first. Um, I'm at range three, and closest to it, base to closest base uh, moves through an asteroid. So both of us will get an extra defense die when we exchange fire here. Um, I get... Three attack dice with Ted Numb. I get four because they're at range three plus the asteroid. How much agility do you have normally? Two. Two. Okay, so you get. Okay, so let me roll mine first before you do anything. Oh, it's hit more. All right, I've got two attack. Yeah, two hits and a focus. I'm gonna save my target lock for later. You can roll yours now. Uh, you've got two evade. So I don't need to yeah, you're safe there. All right, so you can go ahead and fire back. How many uh, do you get? Two attack dice? Yeah, each. What do you mean each? Oh, four. <laughs> for each. Oh, for both ships. Okay, yeah. I see what you're saying. Okay, two I get attacks. one defense, or actually get two defense die. Three. Oh, yeah, range three. Okay, so I, uh, my agility is normally one. One extra one for the asteroid. One extra one for being range three. Good catch. Mm. Two hits, and I'll probably get. I'm my luck is terrible. I've got one evade, so I do take one uh, damage. So I'll take one hit. One shield is gone. All right, and that concludes combat, and we'll move back on to the end phase. Nothing to clean up besides this focus token over here. All right, now back onto the uh, planning phase. All right, movement phase, starting with the pilot with the lowest skill. One slight left this way, and there we go. And I have Ib, Ib to Sam, right? Yeah. This is Ib to Sam. Um, I will go ahead and use. Let's see. What am I in range? I've got a target lock. I could do there, and I could do a target lock with him if I wanted to. Um, I think what I'll do though is I'll go ahead and use my push the limit ability. Uh, once per round, after you perform, oh, let me perform my action first. I will perform a target lock action. Uh, e and E. All right, now push the limit says, once per round, after you perform an action, you may perform one free action shown in your action bar. Uh, receive one stress token. So I will take a focus action and then receive my stress token. All right, so that concludes movement for him. And uh, your turn, as far as your sevens go, what are you going to do with them? Hmm. Him? He's turning one slight turn this way. Okay. My action. And for your action? You're at range three. Range three. Let's see if I can salvage what you just did. Yeah. You were barely range three. Back there. All right. Okay. Two target locks. All right, target lock. And for your tie bomber. One slight turn this way. Missing the asteroid barely. And for your action. You're in range of a target lock if that's what you're measuring. Three. Target lock. All right, let me. I have to grab more from the box. I didn't expect all of these target locks to be used. I've got two U's here. 
you and you. All right. All right, finally, I've got my guy here. One slight turn this way. It's going to look pretty ugly. This is going to get ugly. Um, and for my action, I will go ahead and take a focus. All right, so uh, that concludes the uh, movement phase. We'll move on to combat now. Okay, combat phase, starting with the uh, pilot skill of 8, Ted Nub. Um, I am at range 2 for him and 2 for him. So let me go ahead and attack the TIE Bomber. Um, let me see what I want to use, though. Um, primary weapon is 3. When attacking, one of your critical results cannot be canceled by defense die. That's good to know. Um, auto Blaster, show upgrade. Okay. So, alright, so I get three attack dice at range two. You can't use your auto blaster. Alright, well, I know. You have three. Hmm? You have three attack dice? Yeah, three attack dice. Let me roll mine first, though, before you do anything. Alright, um, before I do anything, um, what do I want to do? I will spend my target lock, L, or J and J, to re roll this one. I hit. Now I'm going to use my focus to switch that to a hit. So I've got three hits here. And you've got one evade. So you take two face down damage cards for your TIE Bomber. Next is my TIE Advance and TIE Bomber. Alright, so which one are you sh using first? TIE Bomber. Ben Tiger Lock. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so who are you attacking first? Which one are you attacking? Ted? Are you in? Which which B wing? That one. Mr. Ib. Range three. Mm, okay, so. Just the uh huh. So which one are you firing with? What's what's what are you pointing at? Proton torpedoes. Okay, so you get four attack dice. Here, go ahead and spend it. So I just so we don't forget. Put that there. We're at range three. Let's make sure it's at close. It is. It's right. It doesn't matter because the proton torpedoes fire at range two or three, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, and or it, and the bonuses don't count. And the bonuses don't count. Yes, on a secondary weapon, the range that is. So, all right. So you get to shoot at ibs ibs ibs. Now, okay. What did you just do? Okay, so you got two attack, one focus. Yeah, two hit, one focus. Did I spend my you? Yeah. All right. Let's spend your uh, target lock. Okay. Now, um, your proton torpedoes, I probably shouldn't bring this up, but since we're playing for fun, you get to switch one of your focus to a critical, correct? Yeah, I had a focus. To, crit to a critical. Is it critical or regular hit on there? Critical. Critical. All right, so change it to a critical. Mm. Now, as part of, let's see, Ib to Sam, um, special ability. When attacking or defending, if you have at least one stress token, which I do, you may re-roll one of your dice. So I get to roll one defense die uh, for my defense, but if I don't like it, I can re-roll it. I also have a focus. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use a special ability to re-roll that. I've got an evade, so I will keep the evade, and um, I take two hits. Two hit their shields. All right, so that was Ibdisam, so I lose two shields there. Nice. All right, next up we have the uh, tie advanced. Your only target is Ted Numb. And what range are we at? Range 2. Yes. That means cluster missiles. I'm going to spend my target lock. Okay, so you're going to spend your target lock. But because of the special ability of hit, it can let me attack twice. Okay, so let me see. You get to roll three attack dice uh, with that. An, plus another three for another attack. For a different attack. Okay, so go ahead and roll your three. Alright, you've got two blanks and a hit. Let me roll mine. Blank. So I take one damage on Ted Number. Alright, you get three more. Two hits. And evade. So I take one more hit on Ted Numb. I've got three shields left on Ted Numb and four shields left on Ib to Sam. Now, Finally, I get to shoot with Ib to Sam here. Um, I will once again go after the, uh, three. Didn't you attack him at range two or was it three? It was range three. 
So if I do attack your tie bomber, I would have to take. You would get an extra defense. Though. So we each get three. Well, well, you have a I'm thinking about what if I want to attack. Yeah, I'll go after the tie bomber, even though we're at range three. Um, all right, so I get three attack dice with Ib to Sam. However, when attacking or defending, if you have at least one stress token, you may re-roll one of your dice. So I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind while I attack the TIE Bomber. Let me roll mine first. I've uh, got a critical and a hit. Let me use his special ability to re-roll one of my dice, or die. Uh, focus. I will spend my focus to switch that to a hit. I've got two hits and a critical. Now you can roll yours. You've got one evade and a focus. Uh, you have no focus tokens, so you take one critical and one regular hit. What's, what's your... At the start of combat phase, roll one attack die. Hold on, let me see. Shift. At the start of each combat phase, roll one attack die. On a hit result, suffer one damage. So every combat phase, you have to roll for damage. Uh, let me get a... Let me get a critical token just so we remind ourselves of that. Um, and then as an action, you can flip this card face down. So on a future turn, you can spend an action to flip that card face down. So there's that. Okay, so um, that concludes combat. Let's go ahead and clean up here. Uh, really nothing to clean up. All the tokens were pretty much used. We'll move back on to the planning phase. All right, movement phase, starting with the uh, pilot skill of six over here, Ib to Sam. Um, one slight left, that is a green maneuver, so my stress token goes away. Um, question is, what do I want to do with my... Let me go ahead and, um, actually this goes away now. What do I want to do? Um, once per round after you perform an action, alright, so let me think about this. I will go ahead and take a focus action. Um, yeah, let's do focus, and what do I want to do? I'll go ahead and take a um, push the limit, uh, use my push the limit card again. Once per round, after you perform an action, you um, may, may perform one free action shown in your action bar. I will go ahead and um, I wonder if you can take two focus actions. Not sure about that. It says I can take one free action. I could use one for combat, one for defense. Um, I'm not sure, and just in the spirit of gaming, I'll go ahead and not do that. I'll go ahead and do a barrel roll. Um, I don't think I can go this way, though. That'll collide. So I think I will... Hmm. Okay, so there's my focus, there's that. And I'll take a stress token back for doing that. All right, and now your sevens get to move. What is that? A four straight ahead. All right, you hit my base, right. so you don't get to take an action. No! Uh, so there's really nothing more to do about that. Um, okay, I can't move. use my ability now. That's all right. Um, you have surgery mine. That's all right. Well, maybe on your next turn. Four um, straight. Four straight with your tie advanced. And I actually might hit your base again. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, so you hit my base, so you can't perform an action. Um, you can't attack me. Well, wow, this is going to be rough. Okay, um, and finally for mine... Um, mine is a one, uh, slight turn to the right. And unfortunately, well, let's see if I can get away with it. Yeah. Just maneuver it around it. And for my action, uh, let's see, with Ted Numb. What am I going to do with Ted Numb? Um, I guess I'll take a, um, oh boy. Um, I guess I'll do a target lock. How about we do that? Um. Let's see if I can find my there's J and J and if I can find them, there we go. Blue, and I'll do a target lock on the tie bomber. Okay, so that concludes movement, and we'll move now on to the combat phase. Okay, combat phase starting with the pilot skill of eight. Okay, you're gonna at the start of your combat phase you have to roll one dice. 
All right, so you've got a critical. See, so it does not do anything. Oh, hold on. It says only one damage. On a hit result. Yeah, not a critical. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, come on. That would stand to reason <laughs> that a critical hit would be worse than. All right, let me do a roll check. I will be right back. Okay, now I wasn't able to really confirm anything on a roll check, um, but the card specifically states on a hit, not a crit. So um, he does not take damage. Um, what's this now? What is this card based on? Cluster missiles. You used that last round, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, so um, now we get to go and start the combat phase, starting with my eight. The only one in range here is this high bomber. Closest base to closest base is a one. I will go ahead and use my primary weapon so I can take advantage of the... Uh, the bonus, uh, the range bonus. Ted Num. Alright, let me roll mine first before you do anything. Alright, I've got, before you do anything, let me go ahead and um, spend my target lock to re-roll um, these two dice. I've got two hits, a focus, and a blank. So I'm going to re-roll the focus and the blank. Hit and a critical. So I've got three hits and a critical. I'm you dead anyway. No, you're not. You've got a focus and an evade. So I have four hole left. All right. Well, let's let's figure this out one at a time here. So you've got two damage, uh, two regular hits, and a critical. And so you get a face up damage card and two face down damage cards. All right. So let's count them up. How many do you have now? Over. And and that <laughs> that says what the critical says. This card counts as two damage. Okay. So overkill. Overkill. Okay. So this tie bomber is gone. <laughs> okay, it's all right. It's but all right. I just love him. All right, now, um, your seven is not in range to do anything. So next, we'll move on to the uh, pilot skill of six. That is a range. Let's see. Closest base to closest base is a two. So let's go ahead and what am I going to do with Ip to Sam? Ip to Sam. All right, so I'll roll three attack dice for my normal. Uh, now, as my special ability, one attacking or defending, if you have at least one stress token, which I do, you may re-roll one of your dice. So before you roll, let me roll and then re-roll that one. Two. I have three defense. All right, I've got three hits. I will keep them. I'm screw. No, you're not. You've got an evade and a focus. So you take uh, two hits. So that's two shields gone. Okay. Three hull left. Three hull. All right. Oh my god. Okay. All right. So it's not too late to give up. So end phase. Let's get rid of this focus token here, and we'll move back on to planning. Okay. Movement. Um, starting with the pilot skill six here. One straight ahead. It's a green maneuver. Um, that allows me to get rid of my focus token. Let me stress. All right, yeah, my stress, my bad. All right, so let's remove that. Um, all right, now I get to take an action. I will take a uh, target lock action, and I will also make use of Ib to Sam's um, push the limit card. I will, um, after your round, uh, after performing an action, you may perform one free action, but you have to receive a stress token. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, receive a stress token, and I will go ahead and perform a, um, hmm, yeah, I should be all right to do that. I don't need a barrel roll. I'll do a focus, and you get to move your number seven now. All right, you've got a four, is that four straight or four K turn? It. Which one is it? I can't read it. Four K turn. Okay, so it's a four K. Um, you get a stress token, so no... Action. Action. All right. Finally, we have... Here's the J that goes with it. Finally, I've got a 2K turn on my B-Wing. Oh, my God. That is, that's, that's, so a, that's a stress uh, stressful maneuver. Where is the 2 straight? There it is. That's just cheap. How is that cheap? I didn't run an asteroid. I did not. Okay, so I have 2. There we go. And I get a stress token, so I don't get any actions for Ted Numba. You're not in range. Well, no, closest base to closest base. Um, we'll have to see. All right, let's go off camera and decide on that. But yeah, that concludes movement, and we'll move now on to combat. Okay, combat. Um, I we did measure it, and they barely touch each other. Uh, closest base to closest base, they do touch. 
So um, they are in range of each other, um, even if it's range three. We'll start with the uh, pilot skill of eight. Again, range three. I get three attack dice on um, Ted Numb. Um, and you get four defense die. You have three agility and Plus one. the range three. So let me roll mine first before you do anything. I've got two criticals. Oh my god. <laughs> I will. S All right, you've got two evade and a focus. So you dodge that attack. Nice. Your tie advance gets to shoot back. Which Who's going to be the target of your attack? Here, let's. What range? I'll get it. Closest base to closest base is two, the other one's three. Do it. Who, who's do it? The one closer to me? The yes. Ibtisam? All right, so I get one defense die. Oh, well, yeah, I get one defense die, but I get to re-roll it if I don't like it because I have a stress token. Yes. Oh, yeah. So three, you get how many attack dice? Two? Two. Two, okay. You've got a hit and a focus. So let me go ahead and um, re roll this. I've got an evade, so that, that negates be. that damage. Finally, um, we get to shoot now, or I get to shoot with this number six again. Range two. Um, I get three attack dice at range two. Plus three. And plus I have that ability where I can re-roll one of my dice because I have a stress plus token. Alright, so let me do this. I've got two hits and a focus. I will go ahead and spend the focus to make that a hit. I don't have to be lucky. You got it. One blank, oh two God. focus. <laughs> so three face down damage cards. I'm dead. You're dead, okay. I threw all left. All right, well, good game. Well Not played. good game. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, oh, so I do this. wait a wait a minute. I do this. It's so it's only a good game if you win. No, is that what you're implying? I should do a suicide. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ham. And there you have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, Vinny Jr. and I sure did. You can check out the review of the base game at www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. <laughs> Or you can click on the links. Are you typing? Or you can click on the links in the below description. That'll take you there as well. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Vince and Vinny Jr. You had me so flustered. I, can't even, and I couldn't even announce who was actually in the video. <laughs>